Hey, hey, what's going on, everybody? This is Reginald Stinson. I want to welcome you to tonight's uh, UOP Hangout. Uh, today is, I believe it's Thursday, July 14th, and I sometimes forget about the dates. Um, I'm going to probably switch locations here because my camera is totally dark, so if you can't see me, that's probably why. Um, but give me one second. Let me switch locations uh, here to see if you all can see me better. Here, give me a minute. Let's see if y'all can see me. Y'all can see me. So how's everybody doing? Everybody doing okay? While I figure this out here. Good, good, good. That's all on the panel. If you're on the panel, mute your mind. Chill. I hear you, Mike. You hear me? Yes, yes. Hit the mute button. <laughs> okay, cool, cool, cool. All right, so I believe this should probably be better all right so I had to switch camera I mean not switch cameras but switch locations give me a second all right so we're gonna get started here tonight um, I'm sitting actually in the hallway in my room guys because the lighting is bad in here and I got company out there um, so it's pretty loud so I don't want anything to interfere with what we're trying to do here. Uh, but tonight is a very exciting night. I'm going to go through why we are excited about what we're doing here. Let's jump right into this. Let's jump right into it. All right. So I'm going to fly through this here really quick, but I, I want to really share this with you um, in this magnitude because I want you guys to really understand why we're doing what we're doing, or why the decision was made to do Infinia. Now, first and foremost, my name is Reginald Stinson. I am the founder of the Unit of Prosperity. Um, I am a retired underachiever, high school dropout. So for the most part, um, made some bad decisions in, in early on um, as a teen, obviously ended up dropping out of high school, later got a GED, went to college, dropped out of college, discovered that that wasn't the path I wanted to go down. I knew I wanted to do something relative to sales. Um, then I ended up finding entrepreneurship by accident. Wasn't looking for it. It actually found me at the right time in my life. Been in the home-based business profession since 2006. All right, so I got started in the industry because I was working dead-end jobs, working at Chick-fil-A, working at factories, working on construction sites, working at labor-ready places, working anywhere to produce any type of income for my family at that moment. Got into the industry uh, really on a $1 trial. Uh, the next month came up, had to pawn things to stay active uh, in that business because I saw the vision. I didn't know how I was going to get it done at first in my first company, but I saw the vision and the value in that company. So I ended up letting go things that I love, such as video games, such as CDs, uh, movies, Pawn TVs, jewelry, whatever I had to pawn, okay, at that moment to stay in the industry because I knew that, that if I didn't make a decision at that moment, that the path that we were on, we will stay there, right? Have you ever been on government assistance? We were on food stamps, right? There were moments to where we had to eat at our jobs when we worked at fast food places because we couldn't afford to put food in the refrigerator. There was times to where we had eviction notice. There was plenty of times where we had several of our cars repossessed. We had so many cars repossessed, I can't even count them all, right? And and the, and the crazy thing about it is the cars that were repossessed were not cars off of uh, major car lots. It was from tote to note lots. Okay? So I've been through the struggle, okay, but I made it out of it. Lack abilities in the early stages of my journey, meaning that I didn't have proper mentorship, and even though I stayed with my first company three years, after that, it was pretty much jumping from company to company trying to figure out the game, okay? 
retired my wife from corporate America in 2013 after she had our daughter, which this is an old picture. We now have three kids. Um, but after she had my daughter, she didn't have to go back to work. Generated $1.2 million in commission online in the last two months. Actually, more than that, okay? In the last 24 months from the comfort of my home. Built organizations of thousands, tens of thousands, personally sponsored thousands of people in my career in the network marketing space. Now, what is the UOP? The UOP is an organization dedicated to inspiring entre entrepreneurs to live prosperly. So we're not just a team, quote unquote, but we are a community that inspires entrepreneurs to live prosperous lives. Our vision as a community is to aid individuals in, in to creating highly desirable lifestyles as entrepreneurs. In addition to that, we have a strong desire to create 100 six-figure income earners and 10 millionaires inside of the home-based business niche. Internet marketing is a launching path for us to branch to other areas of business, such as real estate, small business, music industry, modeling, acting, etc. Because certain people, or some people join the industry, right, looking for a way to fund what their passion really is. Whether they are a struggling musician, whether they are into sewing, whether they want to open up a franchise, whatever it is, we're here to help you to be able to do that, okay? As a unified community, we try to focus on building people over delivering on value and aiding entrepreneurs and designing the desired lifestyles that they deserve. If anyone just jumped on the panel, please mute out your mic, please. I hear somebody in the background. Oh, okay, that's Twyla. Thank you, thank you. All right, so I'm going to come back over here. All right, so I'm not going to read the mission statement. So the big why, why are we doing this? Why did we choose this company? Okay, there's a lot of reasons I can tell you why, but let me tell you this. I've been in the game a long time, and for anybody that knows me personally knows that I can recruit people, right? I can recruit people. I can pretty much at this stage of my career, I can build any type of business that's out there. But Okay, the problem is most of the people that I bring into these businesses that I was in, they could not duplicate what I was doing. It didn't matter what I taught them. It don't matter how well I coached them. A lot of them will probably never, ever be successful in a traditional network marketing model. So when, that, when I saw that and I realized that, I was like, man, either I'm going to get out the industry and just solely focus on, you know, other things that don't involve me dealing with people in that, at that capacity, or we're going to have to find an opportunity in a niche where anybody, regardless of background, regardless of experience, can come in and can make money, okay? So because of this, again, I almost walked away from MLM because, yes, I'm making multiple six figures incomes in these different companies, right? But my team members were not. So it's, it's a struggle for me personally as a leader to watch my team struggle, right? It's a struggle as a leader to watch your community struggle, okay? At least for me. Let me speak for myself. I can't speak for everybody else. So because of that, we made a decision to partner up with Infinia uh, because regardless of background, regardless of skill set, regardless of what personal development you have, which personal development is key, it's essential, Okay, I love personal development. I do it every day because, again, I'm a 1% income earner. But your organization inside of network marketing is going to be made up mostly of the 99 percenters, right? So knowing that, knowing that the, the, your organization is going to be made up the majority of the time of the 99 percenters, you know, what is it that you're going to do for them that's really going to help change their life? Because when people partner up with you, they're believing that you're putting them in a place and in a position to where they can win and that they can accomplish whatever goal they set forth, right? And unfortunately, with the way that some of these companies, again, I'm not bash company bashing, but I'm just keeping it 100 with you all. The way that the model was set up, it's not really set up for those people to really do extraordinary things because of the skill set look, right? But the beautiful thing about what you're hearing about tonight is regardless of background, regardless of skill set, regardless of how you talk, regardless of how old you are, what you look like, 
if you want to deal with people or not, you can make money with this business model. Here's most common facts about people who join the home-based business industry. They don't know how to market, right? That is a huge struggle for most people. They have no idea where to begin outside of making a list of their 50 friends and family. Okay, well, what do I do after that? How do I grow my business beyond my warm market? What if I don't have any credibility with my warm market? When I first got into the industry in 2006, I had no credibility. My credibility was shot. All my warm market remember about me is the bad things I did back then, right? They don't like recruiting. Most people have a fear of recruiting, okay, because they have a lack of skill set, okay? So what if you bring somebody in and they don't desire to recruit at all? Can they make money with your product, okay, if they don't recruit? They don't have an advertising budget. Most people come into the industry broke, busted, and disgusted, right? Or some people, right? So if they don't have an advertising budget, how are they going to build their business? They have exhausted their warm market because they've been in so many business businesses over the course of these years, right? They don't have any credibility. It's shot. They won't ever make money in traditional MLM. Whether you want to accept the reality or not, folks, traditional network marketing is not for everybody. All right, but unfortunately, people, some people sign up any and everybody knowing that those people don't have a chance to succeed because they see them as a dollar sign and just a number. Okay, people just want to see progress, they want to see progress. Everybody does not want to be rich, everybody don't want to make six figures. But if you can show people how to make an extra hundred dollars a week, that'll change a whole lot of lives. Or if you can show people how to make an extra hundred dollars a day. That will change a lot of people's lives. What if there was a way for you to make money without recruiting? You've been seeing this on Facebook, social media, YouTube, email marketing. If you haven't, you're going to see a whole lot more of it because it's becoming more popular. Yes, I know you may be used to the traditional model of, yes, you got to recruit to make money. You got to push product to make money. But what if there was a way that you can make money and not have to ever deal with people if you desire not to. What if there was a way for you to make money, okay, because you don't have to recruit, now you don't have to beg your friends and family to join you if you don't want to, right? You can make money without begging friends and family. You can make money, okay, without doing hotel meetings if you hate hotel meetings. What if you could position yourself in a recession-proof niche, meaning that regardless of what's going on with the economy, okay, you will still make money. Guess what? Because people will always shop to spend money, okay? What if you can offer something that appeals to the masses? So even though you don't have to recruit, once you share this with people, it's easy to recruit. You know, and that's the crazy thing about it because we've seen this. People who couldn't normally recruit in other businesses, they get in this business and now they're a rock star recruiter because there's less resistance when you share this with people because people are aware of the major companies and brands that we work with, right? They are aware of that. What if you can create right now money? What if you can list something on eBay, Amazon, Shopify, wherever, and make money within two hours or an hour later or a few hours later? Literally a couple nights ago, I listed something on eBay, right? And I made a $400 profit within an hour. It didn't even take an hour. I think it was about two hours, maybe two hours. Okay, but it but it wasn't no more than two hours. I listed the item, came back, it sold for a four hundred dollar profit. What if you can make money on your auto ship with whether you sell it to someone else or not? Okay, what if you can make money with your auto ship whether you sell it to someone else or not? Excuse me. There's not many companies or products that you can do that with in this industry. Most companies. Most products, especially if you're in a product-based company, your auto ship, either you're going to use that product or uh, uh, consume that product, or you're going to have to sell it to someone else. In order for you to, to make money, you have to sell it, physically sell it, or actually go out, talk to people, whatever, to actually move that product. But what if you can make money passively with your product, whether you sell it to somebody else or not? We're not going to ask you to stock your closet or stock whatever, you know, full of product that you cannot sell. That's one of the biggest problems of the industry because you have a lot of people that are signing people up for big packages or whatever, giving them all of this product that they cannot sell. They have no idea.
idea how to sell. They have no skill set to sell. So pretty much they're being positioned and set up to fail in a traditional network marketing model. But what if now you can position yourself with an auto ship, if you want to call it an auto ship, I don't, but if you want to call it an auto ship, you can call it an auto ship here, that whether you decide to talk with someone else or not, that it can make you money within a few hours. Now here's proof that it works. Obviously this is from one of our events here. We have Jock Morris on the panel here tonight. We did this event in, El in Atlanta. And again, this is a few of our leaders we had that, you know, we did an event for our team in the niche and e-commerce, okay, that you're going to hear about. And these people have earned tens of thousands of dollars, some of them hundreds of thousands of dollars now in this niche, okay? So we're not making this stuff up. We had so many people on stage getting checks, right, that we had to do two sets of people getting checks on stage. We had so many people making money, all right, in e-commerce that we could not keep up with the amount of people literally who was making money. We had so many people making money that we did our own event. We had close to 600 people at this event. All right. We also were the number one income earners in the parent company of the company you're hearing about tonight. This is us getting a check. This is the most recent check. Okay. With the partnership with Infinia. Okay. Once they came out with another uh, top tier brand of the, the parent company of this, okay? You see what our check is there, 961000 whatever, okay? That's all beautiful. I'm used to doing that, okay? And people get impressed by that. And some people will say, well, if I'm making money, I'm good. I really don't care about what other people are doing, but that's just not me, right? That has never been me. That's beautiful. But the beautiful thing about the positioning that we have now is not only am I making money because people are used to seeing me make money, Right, but now we have other team members that are getting money. You see, Barbara had a three hundred dollar uh, profit here. You see, Nin had Nin had a two hundred twenty five dollar profit. All right, everybody is profiting. I'm not going to name all these testimonials. You all can see them on the screen. If you cannot see it clear, hit the settings button, which I probably should have told you that fifteen minutes ago. But hit the settings button, and you can change the settings uh, of the video. Okay. Um, but we have a lot of people on our team making money, and we've never seen it happen like this ever, 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 ever before. So what I'm going to do now is we have people on the panel. I am sitting on the floor. That's how I'm committed I am to really doing this hangout and really sharing this with you guys. Um, so first, I'm going to actually bring up Kay because I know she got her grandbaby. I don't want her grandbaby to take over the hangout <laughs> before she has to run. But I'm going to allow her to jump out and to really share with you guys how and why she is excited about Infinity what we're doing here and what her results has been so far since coming back. Hey, Reginald, can you hear me? Yes, I sorry. I'm muted. Yes, I'm muted. Sorry. Oh, okay. <laughs> you talk about you sitting on the floor. I'm cramped up in this room with this laptop on my lap, literally. <laughs> Trying to sneak away from the baby. <laughs> but um, no, I'm actually really, really, really excited about um, being back. I'm excited about Infinii. Um, just a lot of things that you've already covered, but just to know that I'm able to offer an opportunity to people where they can make money even if they don't want to share it with anybody else. And I can clearly remember our last run um, that we had and you know the success that I experienced and not only myself but for my team and to kind of leave there and go to where I was and to actually watch my team struggle like struggle to be able to you know pay their auto ship struggle to, to be able to recruit and you know as a person who's bringing people into a business that's not cool. I, you know, that, that really makes me feel some type of way that, you know, you have people who trust you, who follow you, you know, who, who want to be a part of what you have to offer. And then you feel like you're offering them something where they can win, but ultimately they couldn't. So when I found out that, you know, the UOP was, you know, partnering with Infinia, I knew that it was something that I had to do. It was no question about it. And to, you know, personally to, 
I saw a change in my income. Like, seriously, I'm just going to be straight up honest. Like, when I left from doing e-commerce thinking something else was better, I was like, wait a minute. I had to go back to selling houses. And I'm just, like, being honest because, you know, it just wasn't working out. So when I found out that, you know, we we were going, I had to do it. I didn't even, you know, when I messaged you like, hey, I'm in, let's do it. And since I've been in, I don't know how long I've been in, a week and a half, I don't know, but I'm already at the, the third level. Um, I have people on my team who are making money, who's progressing. And as a leader, that makes me feel really good to know that people can honestly make money. And I know from previous, like my son at the time, he's 16 now, but he was 13 then. And he was able to do this business. There was people on a team who was like 60, 70 years old. So it's something that everybody can do. All you have to do is make the decision to do it. Literally, if you can follow directions, which sometimes it can be kind of tough for some people, but if you can literally follow directions, you can basically make money here. Like I've never seen anything like it. And for those of you all who are watching, if you could just see the activity that's going on in the group, you only can see what we post on our walls. But if you can really see the activity that's going on in the group, literally, like I go to bed welcoming people, congratulating people. I wake up congratulating people, welcoming people. Like I'm like, my hands are tired. <laughs> but it's a good feeling because now finally an opportunity where people are winning. You can't ask for much more than that. And if you are a leader watching this, how long are you going to let your team suffer? Like, how long do you let your team suffer before you decide to do something different? If you want to get different results, you have to do something different. And Infinii is different. Like, I know we can't make any guarantees. We can't make any promises. But, man, one thing I can guarantee you, if you keep doing the same thing, getting the same results, that's what's going to happen. you got to make the change. you got to just do something different. And I can guarantee you this, that if you partner up with us in Infinii, you will not regret it. If you follow directions, you will definitely not regret it. I am so excited because I know this time around it's going to be even bigger. It's going to be more people, you know, winning. And for me, that is absolutely amazing. So I'm excited to be back. People can, you know, say what they want to say, but this here is it. This is the real deal. Like, this is no hype. You know, we follow all the hype. You know, we get in thinking we about to do this, do that. But Infinii is the real deal. <laughs> okay. Thank you. Thank you for sharing that. And, and it's true. You know, we actually did like we was doing something better, but you know, I ended up doing okay in other company, right? I did okay, but everybody else's income really took a ninety-something percent plunge, literally, um, in the team, and that's that's really tough for, for any leader to really watch when you go from one place in ecom, which a lot of people are sleeping on in ecom. They're like, uh, I already sell on eBay and Amazon. Like, I get a lot of that, but what I ask people is, are you making six figures on eBay and Amazon? Right? You selling on there? But are you making six or seven figures? Ecom really is those niches that have created more silent six and seven figure income earners than any other niche out there. And it's constantly growing, growing over and over again. And one thing about it as well as a business person, you want to make sure that when you're doing a business, that your business is going to be protected regardless of what happens in the, with the economy. And people are always going to shop for something whether the economy is bad or not, right? So what we're doing, we're actually you on how to position yourself in front of those people to be able to earn profits from them. And the beautiful thing, okay, even more beautiful thing about all of that is that we have an MLM compensation plan attached to this, okay? So now you can earn money by referring other people to this program or other customers to the program to learn how to do the same thing and be able to benefit tremendously and know that like Kay said, you're putting your team in a place to where they can actually win on both sides, right? They can win if they only want to do e-commerce, and they can make a six- or a seven-figure income with the product. This does not involve any recruiting at all. Or if you do decide to recruit, guess what? You make an, an additional income stream by sharing the wealth of knowledge with other people, which when we first did the first run in 2013, you know, the last company I was in, it was crazy. <laughs> <laughs> but, um, yeah, using that company too, you remember. 
so the last <laughs> the last company we was in, I mean, we thought we was doing good, right? We was getting all this big money up front and all this stuff. But then when the residuals kicked in, I'm like, man, I ain't making no money, right? So I'm like, I'm going to have to go get a job or we're going to lose everything, right? So we came over here um, and we came over here to e-com and that decision really changed a whole lot of lives and literally – you know, we never seen so many success stories from the team in any other niche. I don't care how good a product is or whatever out there that's great. I still take products. That's good. But if you want to compare apples to oranges here, since we've been in the industry, anything that's attached to an MLM compensation plan, we've never seen as many success stories um, any other place than we have here from ordinary people, not recruiters, not Reginald Stinson's, right? Not Jock Morris, but we're talking about people that wouldn't normally make money in a traditional network marketing model. So if you're watching this video, click the link below to get started or get back with whoever invited you to this hangout because what you're going to learn is you're going to learn how this company can significantly change your life. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to bring up Twyla. I hope she's live. I can't tell. I see, I see her smiling. Is, is that a live picture? <laughs> yeah, it's live. Okay, so go ahead and unmute your mic. I know you crushing it out and you you are crushing it out. Like you rocking it out over there. I need you to unmute your mic. If you hover over in the middle. There you go. So tell everybody why you are excited about Infinity Yacht, because you rocking it out. You rocking it all the way out. You don't even know what you're doing, but you're killing it. <laughs> <laughs> You are 100% correct. Um, I hope everybody can hear me because I, I, I don't know. Can you guys hear me? Yes, you're good. Okay, well, I'm going to keep going. I don't know if you guys can hear me or not. But, um, yes, I'm going to tell you what, what really, really excited me about Infinia. I do know about the parent company, so I did um, do some listing a few years ago on eBay and Amazon, you know, the hard way, you know. So um, although I made some money, I didn't make a lot of money, but I knew that this was a possibility to make a lot of money. Um, I did have a lingerie business, uh, which was a brick and mortar. And then one day I listed my products on eBay and sold my products, about 15 products, in a matter of a few hours. I knew that was the way to go. Closed my store, put things up, and knew that's the method that I wanted to go to. However, I also had an interest in the MLM business, and I got caught up into the MLM business, which I like. And I don't tend to have a hard time recruiting people. I do get a lot of people who like to follow me. But I do like to know what I'm doing, you know, uh, when I have my people. So I had one of my partners who joined the business with me, the MLM business, but he was not interested in building an organization. He was interested in e-commerce. So, you know, I was actually a little mad at him because I wanted him to, to build the business. However, the figures he kept coming back to me every two weeks was amazing. Um, I can honestly say he hit double figures within a month, okay? Here I am still kind of mad at him that, you know, you're not building a business and we're all trying to work together as a team. He's working independently and he's hitting thirty or $40,000 in five weeks, okay? So I definitely knew that this was the avenue. I did. And I also knew that my teammates was not mastering it. Uh, duplication model of the MLM industry. So I wanted to bring as many people as possible into Infinia, who has excellent training, excellent marketing tools, excellent makes it possible for you to actually make figures like my friend, pay off those bills, you know, because we struggle out here trying to pay our bills and, and we want everybody to do well. We really don't want to be the one and two percenters because it's, that's, that's, it's, it's lonely up at the top. So that's why I'm here, and I'm so appreciative that I found out about you, Reginald. I definitely 
saw your speech, your farewell speech, and it was with a, uh, I would say, a hundred exclamation marks. I'm out of here. Bye. I said, wow. All right. I'm going with this guy. So I'm glad I'm here. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for um, sharing that and definitely appreciate you being here and, and what you're doing. You're doing a great job. I'm um, rocking it out. You know, I, I see you putting putting people in and bringing them in and that's what it's really about because like she said, it's, it's lonely at the top. It's lonely when you're the only one making money and your team is not. It's, it's, it's hurtful for anybody that really cares about people to watch people that, like I said, that are knowing everything you train them to do and they're not getting results, right? So when the decision had to be made, it was an easy decision because, again, this was the model that has helped us help more people. And with the, the way things are set up now, we can even help even more people with this model. So if you're looking at Infinii today and you want to make a decision or you're trying to make a decision as to whether or not you should do it, you should absolutely unequivocally do it, especially if you're a person that may have tried a lot of different things before in the past and you didn't have any results. Maybe you felt like or feel like giving up on the industry because nothing you have tried has worked, right? Give right. this a fact. It's completely new, okay, to a lot of people because we're not really used to this type of model being attached to like an MLM type of thing, right? We're not used to that. But if you get in and you apply the training, you can literally make money within a few hours, potentially. Again, I can't guarantee that, but we've seen it happen over and over again. And my first week when I first got into the model, I made so many sales on eBay. I heard about it, you know. No, a long time ago, but I was like, man, you know, it's just eBay or whatever. But when I actually sat down and went through the training and did it, you know, I made so many sales on eBay and I made a lot of money that week that I knew, hey, this absolutely 100% works and that we can really go out and reach and, and change a whole lot of lives. So if you're like me, especially, and you've been in a lot of company stuff that I ain't make no money in, you definitely owe it to them to share this with them. You definitely owe it to them to share this with them because this is a model that they have a realistic chance to make money whether they recruit someone or not. So thank you, Twyla. Thank you. You're welcome. All right. So now I am going to bring up – Jock, I'm going to let you close it out, man. But I'm going to bring up um, my, 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 Michelle – are you trying to run away, Michelle? Are you trying to come out or are you trying to run away? <laughs> I'm here. I'm here. Can you hear me? Yes. <laughs> I was just repositioning my chair. Oh, okay. But, yeah. Um, <laughs> um, yeah, Reginald, Michelle Corn is here. And, guys, I'm just happy to say that I am a proud member of the Unit of Prosperity, have been a member of the UOP for about three years now, and I, too, was a part of the parent company of Infinii. And um, I did make my sales on eBay, kind of dabbled around with Amazon a little bit, but then I got, uh, I jumped on another bandwagon and joined another company, and then I just dropped the ball with the whole e-commerce system because um, I love the network marketing industry, and I love helping people succeed. However, once again, I fell into that same situation where I was winning in that company and a lot of my team members were not winning. And so once again, that began to hurt me because like everybody else on this panel has said, um, it's one thing for you to make some money, but it's another thing to see your team members not make money. And it hurts you as a leader. You know, you want everybody that you that team up with you and that partner with you to make money just like you do. And you know, I hate to be repeating what everybody on the panel has said so far, but it's absolutely true. You know, you can train them. You can, you know, we have systems in place. They can follow the system. They can jump on every opportunity call. They can jump on every um, training. They could do, you know, they could just follow the system to a T, but they still won't get results. If it's if you're telling people to do something that they absolutely do not want to do, then guess what? They're not going to duplicate what you're doing. I don't care how many times you show them the plan, if it's something that they don't want to do, they're not going to do it. And it has nothing to do with stepping out of the comfort zone. It's something that people just don't want to do. So um, when I saw Infinii come on the scene, I knew that I had to jump right back in 
e-commerce because I was actually looking for another stream of income where I did not have to recruit anybody. And so this came into my life at the perfect moment because, you know, I just wanted to sit back and make money at home where, you know, I got paid based on my efforts alone, not having to depend on what other people did in order to write my own check. So that's why I love um, e-commerce so much. And why not put yourself in position to be in a place where people are already buying? You don't have to beg people on eBay and Amazon to buy stuff. They're up there all day, every day, already buying stuff anyway. But guys, I can't tell you how excited I am about Infinia because it's only been one week for me and already I've I've sponsored four people into the business one of them has already hit manager and she hasn't even recruited anybody um, she's already made fifty dollars in a week and she's already making sales on eBay you know without like I said without recruiting anybody so I got a feeling this thing is just gonna be off the chain guys and so you know this business is for everybody. It's for people who love to recruit because you can help your team members by building up under them, by placing people under the ones who don't want to recruit and help them make money in the network marketing plan, whether they recruit or not. And they can also make money on their own on the e-commerce side. And guys, the videos, the videos are so easy to follow. If you just get in, watch the videos step by step, don't skip any of them. Do what they say, you will win. And the marketing system that Reginald has created, the UOP marketing system, is just phenomenal. It can't be touched. Like, it's just amazing. I love it. It's just so easy, so simple, and it's free. Right now, anyway, it's free. <laughs> uh, so, guys, if you're looking for um, an easy way to make money, um, you're going to have to put some work in. But if you put the work in, you do what you have to do the money will come and I'm telling you a lot of stress will be off your back with recruiting people if you're a type of person that doesn't like to recruit so back to you Reginald thank you thank you and like she said guys click the link below go ahead and sign up it can be the best decision you ever made in your life it, it was for us and it can be for you this model is absolutely exciting um, I'm not going to say much. I'm just going to tell you to click the link below to get started. We're going to bring up the next person who was with us way back in that company where I thought I was making money too. <laughs> I think he left. I, I did. <laughs> but anyway, he was with us too, man. So I'm going to bring him up because he's rocking it out. You know, I, you know, I watch him blossom become a, a rock star, an absolute rock star online. And he's definitely rocking it out over here. I believe he's a regional or a national one of them. Um, over here in Infinia. So Sean Johnson, Sean the King Johnson, the King. Come on out, bro. <laughs> can you hear me, Claire? Yeah, I can hear you. Go ahead, bro. <laughs> okay, great, great. Yeah, yeah. I thought I remember the other company that we was in. We was, we was having a little fun, but at the same time, like you said, we knew our skill set level, but a lot of people on our team just couldn't match what we do. And as you said, as a leader, when you see that. It hurts, I mean, because you're like, man, I'm making money, but then I see this person on my team, they not even, it's been a year, and they haven't even made two sales yet. I mean, it, it's kind of it's kind of disgusting sometimes when you think about it, but look, I'm glad to be here. I remember when you guys rocked it out the first time, and I'm, I'm going to be the first one to admit on a live hangout, I actually laughed. I was like, eBay, Amazon, I was like, whatever, right? I ain't messing with that stupid stuff. But now, seeing what y'all did and really thinking about the industry, and thinking about the people that I want to reach, the people I want to help, I'm like, man, this actually could work. So when I saw Keisha start promoting it, it just was a no-brainer. I hit her up and said, look, I don't need to see anything. Send me your link. I'm in. Let's rock and roll. Just tell me what I need to do, and I'll just take it, I'll just take it away from there. But, um, man, I'm, I'm going to tell you, this, this is crazy because now my wife, my wife never did anything. She was okay with me doing it because she was making money through me, but now because she's a couponer. So as a couponer, this made too much sense. And the crazy thing about it, she got her first sale. She probably about to be manager. I have no clue what a manager is in the company, but she's about to be manager. Made her um, first sale today on the recruiting side. And now she just she's like one of those particular people who got to know everything before they actually take action. But 
now she even got her girlfriends looking at in the coupon group. So I looked at that and I was like, wow, a lot of people don't want to recruit. A lot of people just want to be able to, to make money and, and do it through e-commerce. It just made too much sense. eBay, Amazon. We are already on it. We already know people that's using it. So why not leverage the, the, the business model and make money from home? If there's nothing but $100 a week, $300 a week, $1,000 a month, is actually possible here. And I want to give a shout out to Marva Burton. She's on my team and never made money and never Where Mark got her first sale, her first commission this week. So I want to applaud her for sticking in the game, trusting me as her sponsor and coming into the business. She's super excited. And just her testimony alone, just seeing her have some excitement. I know a lot of people who who didn't make any money in anything can come here, don't have to talk to a soul, you really don't, can go through the training, go implement the information, and then they can get some sales on eBay and Amazon and have a check next week or whenever they whenever they decide to cash their own money out. But, um, man, I'm super pumped, man. I mean, I, I sit back and like, why did I miss that train last time? And, you know, sometimes you got ego, and sometimes you think you know everything. But, you know, I'm glad y'all decided to, um, to come back home. I'm glad y'all decided to make this run. I'm on this train this time, and I'm just looking forward to helping anybody who see this as value, who see this as a way where they can change their zip code, where they can pay extra card notes. So if you're looking at this, click that. I know there's a red button under this video. Just click it, get with the person, get your system set up, get some of the questions answered. You may have a few questions and just get started. That's the only thing. Get started. Don't procrastinate because trust me, if you if you was in the group, like somebody said earlier, my thumb, like when we first got started, my thumbs were literally Soar from on my iPhone pushing, welcome, like, welcome, welcome, like. I'm like, what are these people doing? I mean, what's going on? I just saw all the excitement, and I just saw people who I knew from other things. I'm like, wow, they're making money on eBay. Wow, they're making sales. I said, look, this right here can help a lot of people because a lot of people are hurting, but when you look on Facebook, they're painting another, a whole different picture. It ain't true. So here we're we doing something that's true. We're showing you stuff that's real. And all you got to do is make that decision. Click the button below and get started today. Back to you, Roger. All right. Thank you, man. Thank you. Thank you. I ain't got to say nothing else after that. I'm just going to go ahead and bring up. Uh, <laughs> thanks thanks for jumping out, man. Thanks for jumping out. But I'm going to go ahead and bring out Jock. And, and I, like he said, came back home. You know, we coming back home to bring a championship to the city like LeBron. <laughs> Bring a championship to the city, so we we definitely uh, gonna bring a championship home for those people that have definitely been connected with us for a long time, and really this move was for you all because we want to be able to help you all on a on a different capacity, and that's why we're here. So finally, I'm gonna go ahead and bring up Jock T. Morris, Atlanta's own. I'm sure he's gonna say it again, so I ain't even gonna mess up the intro. <laughs> but I'm gonna go ahead. And <laughs> I'm going to bring him out and allow him to close us out, you know, and he'll allow him to share with you whatever you want to share about, you know, what we are, what we're doing with Infinity Eye and why he's excited. So, Jock, I'm going to turn it over to you. Excellent. Can you hear me okay? Yes. All right. Wonderful. So, ladies and gentlemen, you know, I, I'm not really sure why Reginald brought me out last because, you know, I'm a little shy. I'm just joking. I'm just joking. I'm Jock T. Morris, Atlanta Zone, Sherry sure, Tie guy. Hey, I am super excited, super stoked, like pumped up. I feel like I'm 10 feet tall, bulletproof, and I got wings because, ladies and gentlemen, you know, I'm going to give you a little backdrop. If you know me or you ever heard me speak, ever heard me train, I am long-winded. You know, hey, I apologize in advance, but let me just tell you, I'm super excited to share this information with you this evening. I mean, you've heard the ladies and gentlemen on the panel share their excitement. You've heard them share their story. You, you've heard them talk about the struggles and any entrepreneur that's been in the home-based business industry or niche for any amount of time can more than likely relate to some of those struggles. So let me take you back in time a little bit, then I'm going to bring you up to date and then, you know, hey, I'm going to put a pretty red bow on it somehow or I might just put an orange tie on it. I don't know, but hey, we're going to make it do what it do and we're going to make it happen tonight. And anytime that I'm speaking, you know, hey, you can go ahead and click the link below and get started with the person that actually referred you to the Hangout tonight. So back in 2013 was when I first heard of this business model, e-commerce. Like some of our other panelists, 
I was an individual that could always recruit, sponsor, and enroll in previous companies, but the issue or the struggle was other people couldn't duplicate, and when they couldn't duplicate or even replicate my efforts, then they would ultimately quit. So when I saw this business model, it instantly made sense. However, at first, I kind of slept on it. Like, I, I'm, I'm just going to be straightforward. I slept on it. I was like, ah, it can't be that simple. It can't be that simple. But I kept seeing these screenshots. I kept looking at social media, and I was like, I don't know what's going on over there, but it's something going on, and I need to take a closer look and find out. So December 2013, I got started with the company, and what can I say? Like, had a, had my best month ever at that particular time. Then in January 2014, I came out on a hangout just like this. I can remember it like it was yesterday. It was my very first hangout ever. And on that hangout, I actually stated that it was my goal within a couple of years to retire my wife from her corporate job. So, you know, in the ensuing months, I went on to make, well, generate thousands of dollars in sales on eBay as well as Amazon. I also started a little e-commerce uh, company, that some products, like did all type of things in the e-commerce niche. And then, you know, we tried something else out. And again, I brought some people, you know, to the particular company. But the first thing that I noticed was other people were not having the success that they had like we had when we were with the e-commerce business model. One of the things that I've always heard Reginald say is that it takes skills to pay the bills. Well, in a traditional network marketing company, you have to have skills as far as people skills in order to be able to recruit, in order to be able to sponsor, to enroll. Well, if you don't have those people skills, 9.9 .9 times out of 10, you're not going to make significant income in a traditional network marketing company. Well, here, you're going to get education. You're going to get training that is going to allow you to be able to develop your skills so that way, if you choose, you don't have to talk to anybody and you still can generate a six-figure income. Now, me personally, I like to ask people, do you have the potential to make a six-figure income or a multiple six-figure income on your job? And, and most people say, no, I don't have that potential. Well, what do you need to do in order to earn that type of money? They would say go back to school or become like the president of the company. And some would even say start their own business. But again, here, you can get an education and create a six-figure a year, you know, passive residual income, if you will. So just to fast forward you on my story, actually a couple months ago, which well, but yeah, 2014, I made like 80 grand that particular year. And again, that was the first full year that I was introduced to this e-com model. 2015, I almost did a quarter of a million dollars. I actually did 240 thousand dollars from the conference of my home, you know, not clocking into anybody's job. And, and again, it's not necessarily even about the money, but it's about the freedom and the leverage. But what I'm even more proud of was February 29th this year, um, uh, me and my wife, we actually closed on a brand new house that we built from the, so our zip code did change. I'm not gonna tell you about the stats of this particular house, but I'll tell you this, if you come to Atlanta, you can come to my house. Let me say that again. I don't think you caught me. If you come to Atlanta, you can come to my house. So uh, April 29th of this year, I had the blessing, the privilege, and the pleasure to retire my wife from her job that she worked on for 22 years. And now let me tell you, she would work four days from home and one day in the office, but she was tired. She was frustrated. You know, she, she, she didn't want to do it. And I told her, I said, babe, just hang in there, just hang in there. Because when I left my job in 2011, because I was driving trucks here in Atlanta, she primarily supported us until I got my business to a point where, you know, I could pretty much take back over the financial responsibilities of, of the family, which is a key point for any couples. Hey, support your spouse, you know, support your mate in their endeavors, because it doesn't happen overnight, but it can happen happen as long as a person stays with it. So she supported me. April 29th, we threw a surprise party at her job. I retired her. And then after the retirement party, took her a little bit north of Atlanta, went to the Jaguar dealership, which we had been looking at Jaguars for the better part of a year, and bought her a brand new 2016 Jaguar. Again, that's something that she wanted. That was her retirement gift you know, from me to her. 
And now, you know, she's retired. She does what she wants to do. You know, she, she, she still doesn't sleep in late, but, you know, that's another story. Anyway, so the, the, so the, the point that I want to stress to you is that when you do have money, you, you have options. You know, you have an option to get what car you want. You have an option to live in a zip code uh, that you desire, to send your kids to whatever school you want, and then, you know, to basically set your own schedule. Like, now, when we want to go on vacation or I want to go on a business trip, I don't have to ask her to try to coordinate with my schedule because of her job. Now I just say, let's go. And she's like, where are we going? And I said, it don't matter because you're with me. You know, so she's all on board. We're happy and we're excited. And like others that share, you know, the bottom line is that as a leader in this particular industry, I want to help other people succeed because me succeeding is one thing. You know, I'm used to being successful. Yes, I've had my trials, my tribulations, my challenges, and my struggles just like anybody else. However, I want to genuinely help other individuals succeed. And so over the past year, I had quietly been behind the scenes talking to Reginald. I said, Reginald, what can we do that we can build a community around it so that way other people will have an equal chance at success, even if they don't want to recruit? You know, like what makes sense? Because it's one thing to make money. Like most people go to their jobs to make money. But it's very few people that are passionate about going to their job to make the money. So when you actually develop a passion for something, that's when you can create leverage. That's when you can create financial freedom. That's when you know you can quote unquote get rich if that's what you desire to do because you're passionate about it and you're not just doing it for the money. And, and that's one of the things that you know as a leader, if I'm going to team build, which I absolutely love team building, I have to be passionate about it. Because I want to know that other people, if they apply themselves without recruiting, they can make whatever level of income they so desire. Now, I could go on and on. You know, I'm kind of looking over here to the right, just making sure that I'm not going too long here tonight. But, but again, I could go on and on, you know, telling you about my team members that are progressing through the uh, compensation plan, that, that are earning income on the affiliate side. I could tell you about other team members that are earning you know, six figures on the e-commerce side of, of the business. I can tell you about team members that are having their first eBay sales and they're figuring out that this e-commerce thing works. I can tell you all night about that, but instead, here's what I'm gonna say. What is your long-term play? Or, or better yet, that's the question I'm gonna ask. What is your long-term play? Like, is it really your play or, or, or your dream and your desire to retire from your job? Like, is, is that really what you want to do? Most people don't dream about retiring from a job. Again, what is your long-term play? Because the bottom line is, you got to have money, and in order to get money, you have to work. So why not choose to work for yourself? Why not choose to start your own business, develop skill sets that you can then in turn pass on or pass down to your children? Because I always ask people this. I said, with your job, can you take it if something happens to you and pass that job to your child? And 99.9% of the time, unless the person is the company owner, they say, no, I can't. I said, well, with a business, you can give that business to your child. And, and one of the things I like to encourage anybody that's listening to this information, be it live or be it recorded, is not only think about yourself, think about your children, the next generation. Make it where they don't have to start from ground zero. Make it where they have something that they can be proud of, put their name on, and take it to the next level. Because that's what other people do. I'm not going to say rich. I'm not going to say wealthy. But that's what a lot of other people do. And, and, and just as humans in general, many of us desire the same things. You know, we, we want that happy family life. We don't want to be stressed out about bills. We, we, we don't want to worry about, hey, you know, where, where's my next, you know, meal coming from or anything like that. We just want to take care of our family. Some of us have a level of spirituality and then we want to give back. Well, Reginald put a post out there. Reginald said, how are you going to give back if you don't have anything to give? Granted, you can give up your time, but guess what? Here in 2016, the time period we live in, it takes money to get places. And so again, money allows you to have options. So just once again, just to wrap everything up, hey, go ahead, click the link below, and go ahead and get started with our team. 
get back to the person that actually referred you to this hangout. Let them know, hey, I'm on board. Just hold my hand for a little while. Show me the way. We're going to introduce you, you know, or welcome you rather, into our wonderful community. And one of the things I want to say about the community is that it's vibrant. You know, it's a breath of fresh air. You know, people say, hey, this is different, and it truly is because the bottom line is that you can win on either side of the business. Now you have a choice. Now you have a decision, and that should be to click the link below and actually join us. We are the unit of prosperity. I am Jacques T. Morris, Atlanta Zone, shirt and tie guy, and we're back. We're reloaded. This is round two. Let's go.